Okay, Cancer. Sorry, I had to do some camera adjusting. So, this is going to be your bonus read. Um, <clears throat> I promised you guys a bonus read because you and um, Libra and Pisces gave the most views to my channel this month, period. And as a thank you, I'm going to give you a bonus love read. It's going to be long. Um, hopefully, it's not that long, but... <laughs> I literally have all of my love decks and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 love decks. So it, hopefully we're not here all night. So we're just going to dive right in <laughs> like immediately. Let's just do it. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to start out with. Um, oh, God, what deck is this? Damn it. Tarot of the Heart. Okay. Um, now, this deck only has Major Arcana. So, all right, what does Cancer need to know about their love life? You know what? I should probably energy clean the space. Hold on with my bell. One second. Okay. All right, so what does Cancer need to know about their love life? For the rest of September and the beginning of October, the person on Cancer's mind. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if you want your sign to get these bonus reads, share with all of your cancer friends, right? Um, share with whatever, you, however many of friends you have that um, are the same sign as you so that you guys can get up there too, right? The Magician, holy moly. Okay, so this is also going to be a timeless read. It's a love read. Okay. I think we're only going to do two of each card or else this reading is going to get super duper long. What else for cancer? And we, we definitely don't want it to be like super duper long. Okay, so we have the devil and we have the magician. Ooh, cancer. <laughs> you tr you trying to manifest the devil? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so in a love read, we have two we have two different energies coming on here. So in a love read, the devil is about extreme sexual attraction and obsession. So, ooh, ooh, cancer. <laughs> somebody is, mm, somebody wants a piece of cancer. <laughs> somebody is looking at cancer like cancer is a juicy peach or a plum or something else really juicy. <laughs> They are extremely sexually attracted to you to the point where, like, they the temptation is overwhelming. Like, it, they're literally chained to the temptation of your body. <clears throat> um, the magician shows me that they're probably working really hard at trying to manifest you. I don't know why they don't just have the balls to just come up and be like, Hello, Cancer, I'm digging on you. But for some reason... They're trying to manifest you. They think it's going to be easier to manifest you. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a masculine trying. I, I have no idea. It feels like maybe it's a feminine. Maybe she's trying to manifest you instead of just straight up saying like, hey, this is how I feel. You know, maybe she's trying to get you to make the first move. I mean, that's the only that's the only thing I can think of, like as why someone would try to manifest you, but not tell you how they feel straight out right i mean you know the females are generally the flower and if you're a male then you're the bee you're supposed to come pollinate that flower <laughs> i don't know um so if you're a man i'm gonna say there's a female trying to manifest you if you're a female um i would say maybe you're trying to manifest this energy of someone who you don't even have to manifest. Like, if you're a female, there's already someone who's into you. Look it. There's that double energy of sexual obsession. And I can guarantee you it's going to come out again. So we're, we're going to keep going. <laughs> um, I don't even know what deck to use next. We're going to do the Simply Spiritual, the Love Oracle. Come on in. What's up, baby? I just need to pee. Okay. <laughs> Let me pause this for a minute. R wait one second, Cancer. Hey, sorry about that, Cancer. So my five-year-old, his name is London, he is learning how to potty train. So um, he's pretty much got it down. Like he just, <laughs> he'll come in here and he's like, I have to go pee. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I open the bathroom door, he'll go pee. 
you know, but he just, he wants me to go with him. Like, I have to be present when he's peeing. <laughs> like, I, don't ask me why. I don't know. But, you know, mom shit. Okay. So, let's keep going, Cancer. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and Libra and Pisces, I'm going to be doing your guys' bonus reads next. Um, within the next couple days here. All right. So, what else does Cancer need to know about this sexual obsession? <laughs> I am going to be using an erotic deck um, after this, so I will probably be covering it up for YouTube so I don't get flagged. I will be covering up the putang and the boobies with my finger. So there is ways around everything, Cancer. Let me tell you. All right, let's see. What else do we have for Cancer, please? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. We have third party. Oof. What is going on there? Okay. Let's get another card. Before I jump to conclusions and say, your person cheating, I'm just going to keep going because we have no idea what this is yet. I'm not going to jump into the negative. Ghosted. Wow. What in the actual... <laughs> All right. So... I don't know quite yet how this is going to play in. We're going to have to throw some more tarot on it. I'm probably going to have to use... Hmm, do I have a tarot deck up in here? Damn it, Cancer. <laughs> now now that this happened, now we have to get some answers for you. So I'm going to have to get a tarot deck. Because we're not just going to leave it like that, right? We're not doing that. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to find a tarot deck. Um, I have one in here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Do I not have one tarot deck in here? All right. So we have third party and we have ghosted. So someone in the past or like it could be in the near future. I don't know. Um, we have energy of being ghosted. Someone is, is not being freaking. They're not an adult cancer. I'm, I hate to. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. They're not an adult. If you want to ghost somebody and you can't just say, hey, I don't want to talk to you because of said whatever. If they decide they need to disappear rather than voicing what it is that's bothering them, they are not adult enough or grown enough to communicate properly. And this is not a good trait, period. Now, if this is you doing this, Cancer, then shame on you as well. You need to, we're all adults here, okay? Nobody under 18 should be watching Chakra Bunny Tarot because Chakra Bunny Tarot is inappropriate, point blank, period, okay? Okay. Um, and plus, we're talking about love here. Like, if you're under 18, you're in love, that, that's fine, whatever. Um, my videos are not meant for children, period. So... You know, we're all adults here. If you're in this energy, it was just 808 on my phone. So there's another number for you, Cancer. Um, we need to be adults enough to say, hey, I don't like this. And so I'm going to pull my energy back. You know, we don't just disappear from people because, I mean, unless I'm not going to say that, like, this is difficult, okay? Sometimes in a twin flame relationship, people will ghost and, it, and it's because they're helping you to heal like triggers, right? Like me, I have an abandonment issue trigger and I never would have healed that issue if the last person I talked to hadn't ghosted me. And ironically, he was a cancer. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes people do these things and they don't do it on purpose they're being guided by spirit because they're meant to help us heal things, right, in ourselves. But for the most part, when you come to your senses and you go, hey, I kind of shouldn't be doing douchey stuff like this, <laughs> you know, then you need to come to your senses and say, hey, I ghosted you for so-and-so. And actually... You know, no one is above this behavior. I literally did this to someone and didn't even realize I did it until I got ghosted. And then I went, damn, dude, like I <laughs> I'm over here preaching to the choir and I need to talk the talk and walk the walk. So I was like, you know what? You know, you don't like being ghosted like Nancy. Like that's my name. Right. 
And so I said, what are you doing ghosting people? And I didn't realize I did it until I went back and reflected and went, oh my God, this energy is so stupid. Why did I do that? So I actually contacted this person and I'm not going to say names on here, but I contacted him and said, look, I'm really sorry I ghosted you. You know, you came in this way and I didn't like it. And instead of just explaining to you that I didn't like it, I ghosted you. And I'm so sorry I did that. I didn't even realize I did it until, you know, all of a sudden I ghosted him and I blocked him and it was dumb. And I said, I'm sorry. Um, I just got ghosted and it doesn't feel good. It sucks. And I really miss the person and I consider him a good friend. And so, you know, it hurts. It hurts. And so we don't want to hurt people, whether intentional or not intentional. So, you know, if this is your energy, stop it. And if someone's doing this to you, I'm sorry, Cancer. I love you. I love you, Cancer. So um, I'm here to tell you I'm sorry. And maybe the reason you're being ghosted is because you need to heal the abandonment wound, which I healed it thanks to this person. So actually, I'm not I'm not angry with the person that ghosted me because without them, without me feeling such deep love for this person, I wouldn't have looked deeper into myself and healed that abandonment wound. So I did grow from this person. Um, so I appreciate him very much. So there's a reason for everything. Time to look into the reason why you're ghosting or why someone is ghosting you. Now we have third party. So we're going to tackle this one. Now, third party can mean a bunch of different things. It can mean your person is cheating on you and that's why they're ghosting you. Or it could mean that there's a third party energy. So a lot of the times third party will come up if you have a, a baby mama or a baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're married to them. They're still a baby mama or a baby daddy. Okay. Like me, I have a co-parent that I am divorced, but I still co-parent with my baby daddy. <laughs> um, and I have three kids with him. And so there'll always be that third party energy in my field. Always. So don't freak out about a cancer. It doesn't mean your person's cheating on you. It means there is a third party energy. So we're going to look into it for you. I need to find a tarot deck cancer so we can figure out what the fuck is going on. So I'll be right back. Oh my God. Damn it, cancer. Y'all are making me work. <laughs> you lucky. I love y'all. It's 12, 12 on my camera. I had to go get a tarot deck. I had to go. I had to leave the room to get a tarot deck just so I could come back here and finish this reading. I had to get, grab a water because, oh my God. Okay. So let's throw some tarot on this. Why do we have this third party card here? Please, spirit, can you give us some insight into what is going on? So if it's, if it's a cheater for sure energy, give me like uh, one of the lion cards, like the, you know, five of swords or the seven of swords. If it's not, um, you know, then give us any other card and we'll try to interpret it. Um, let's get it. Okay. So can you tell us, oh, I need a new tarot deck. I'm, I'm done. I got to get a new tarot deck. This Rider Waite deck is, oh, I need to retire it. Oh, I'm sad. This is one of my favorite decks. It works so good. All right. Can you tell us why we have this third party? Confirm whether it's a cheater or not. If it's a cheater card, give us the five of swords or the seven of swords. Anything other than that, I'm going to consider it not a cheater card. Okay. Okay. So why do we have the third party here? God, I can't even shuffle this deck. Or a tower card, okay? I'll take that too as a sign of cheating. All right, what do we got? Tell me why we got the third party card here for cancer, please. Anything else I'll try to interpret. Wow, okay, so it's not. It's. I told you, don't freak out, cancer. Calm down. <laughs> don't get all into your watery, beautiful emotions. So we have the six of cups, okay? So third party, this, this definitely for sure. This is the card of like nostalgia and past energy. So it's like reliving the past. So here we go. This is definitely a co-parenting situation. This is someone who you had a beautiful past with. You have beautiful memories with them. You probably have children with them. There's two children on this card. See this? This is literally has to do with kids. So you, there's someone that you have kids with. You have a deep connection and tie to them. You may no longer be in love with them. And so cancer, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> this is either your energy of, you know, your co-parent um, that you partner with to raise your children or your partner has a co-parent that they co-parent with, but they are no longer in love with this person. Okay. It's just, you know, it's maybe they ghost you because, you know, they're, I don't know, maybe they're, their baby mama's having trouble or maybe their baby daddy is being a bitch. I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> they do that very often. Mine does it a lot. So I understand it. So, you know, maybe they are busy, you know, it's still not cool to do anyways, but okay. So we're going to move on. Um, uh, let's do the Bodhi Tarot. <laughs> I don't even know, dude. This reading seems like it's going to turn out really long. I wanted it to be short and sweet, but... And then we got that card, and I was just like, no way. And y'all making me work today, for real. I'm earning this money, for, for sure. I think for that, Cancer, you should like and subscribe and share. It's all free. <laughs> but for real. Because y'all made me get up and stuff. I don't like to walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're giving too much and not leaving anything for yourself. You may feel drained. Establish boundaries in your relationships. See, boom, there's that baby mama, baby daddy drama again. Cancer, tell your significant other that you're co-parenting with, that you're no longer with. I'm busy. I don't have time for your drama. I'm doing my thing. Okay, that's what you need to do. Spirit's even saying it right now. You have my permission to be um, extra and petty. Okay. Watch out for people that don't add to your life. They're dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. Cancer. Oh my God. Can I just say I love you guys so much? You're the sign that gets these cards the most. You are so lovable and beautiful, Cancer. Please stop doing this to yourself. Okay? Don't let them negative Nancys. And my name is Nancy. So <laughs> I am... I, and I am the least negative person you will know. I swear to God. I am so positive. I don't know where that saying came from. If you know, stop saying that, people. Stop saying that. <laughs> stop saying, don't let the negative Nancys. Because not all Nancys are negative. I am fucking phenomenally positive. Okay? I'm just saying. And I just told all y'all my real name. So, <laughs> y'all know. Okay. So, Cancer, stop doing this. Um, don't let the negative naysayers... Um, get to you just cut them out of your life seriously because it's affecting your love life now and now that's just ridiculous okay so we're done with that oh god where should we go now let's get a power of love card so all of this is advice spirit is giving you so that you can create beautiful connections in your life it's up to you whether or not you take my advice or not or spirit's advice um you know what i'm saying i can't force you to do anything but if you want to be in love then take my advice London, okay, thank you. Don't interrupt me anymore now, please. I don't want to have to shut the door and, and you know, create a boundary for you guys. But you need to leave mommy alone for a minute, okay? Mommy's working, buddy. See, I need to create boundaries, too. Normally, I, 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 I leave the door open for my kids, right? So that they have access to me if they need anything. But lately, I've been shutting the door because they don't understand the boundary of... When mommy's working, leave mommy alone. Don't come in here to give me a water bottle because you don't want to hold on to it. Like, that's not an emergency. I let them know, you know, if there's an emergency, because their older brother's out there, you know, he's almost 12 and he's available for them. And so there should be none of that. But that's what you need to do, Cancer. You need to set boundaries and say, hey, like, I'm doing my own thing. I want to fall in love. And you're not going to stop me because you have issues or whatever. I tell my baby's daddy that every day. <laughs> if I fall in love, then your bullshit has to stop because I'm single. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what you need to do too. Expression. You're ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Okay. So spirit is saying you're ready to manifest your thoughts. Okay. You are trying to manifest someone cancer. You have to let all of that old energy go and all of those karmic cycles go if you want to manifest um love into your life responsibility you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amounts of love you express see now this is my cancer right here okay if you're aware of your ability to love freely without hindrance no matter what that's the energy you need to be in my beautiful cancer right there okay manifesting things with the power of your love i don't know why my child has the light on in the bathroom hold on I love you too, buddy. Okay. So, uh, sorry, Cancer. <laughs> You've been running around all day today, let me tell you. So I cleaned all the windows in this house and which it's not even my house, by the way, but I have an I have an allergy to mold. And there was mold all over the windows. So or mildew, whatever. So I cleaned all of that. Um I went to town on this damn bathroom and whew, it was just it was a mess. <clears throat> so this is not my house, but I do live here. So, um, 
I like a clean place, Cancer. Like, I'm home a lot. I'm a homebody. I don't like people. I don't like to leave. So I like to have a clean space. And it feels so good. It smells like mango in here. It's nice and clean. Okay, so. And my child is in here because... Um... Nobody's in the living room with him right now, so he's going to be in here with me for a bit. Okay, so we're doing the Romance Angels for you, Cancer. I'm still working, even though I'm mom duty, right? Let's let's see what else is going for Cancer. So um, we have... Did we already do the Romance Angels? I don't know. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ooh, okay. So we're having a little bit of self-love issues, Cancer. That's okay. Leo gets this every damn reading. I swear to God. Leos and Cancers, why do we struggle so much with loving ourselves? I'm a Leo, so I understand this. I get this card. I get, okay, it's either this card or you are lovable. And every freaking Leo read I do for myself or for my for, or for the Leo collective. Why is it that Leos and Cancers have so much trouble loving themselves? And we're so beautiful. We're like the most beautiful signs in the Zodiac. Why do we struggle with that so much? The most beautiful signs in the Zodiac always have the worst times loving themselves. I don't understand it. We're the most attracted to. I'm just kidding. I mean, but we are though. But okay, I'm done. <laughs> Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So, <clears throat> despite having been ghosted or whatever, this person has feelings for you, Cancer. They may have ghosted you. They may have pretended like they didn't give a shit. They're lying. They fucking are feeling you. You got the devil card, which again, okay. Remember I said the, the, the devil card is strong sexual attraction. Boom. And I'm going to try to be, you know... I'm going to have to censor myself because I have my child in here. But there is a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. Boom. So maybe, okay. Cancer, work on your self-love because maybe the reason this person is acting all shady is because they're sensing that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. There's still no reason to ghost anybody. I'm just going to throw that out there. But they're lying. They may have ghosted you, but they still are su super duper attracted to you. They bullshitting. Okay. So what are we going to do next? I don't even know what card to do, what cards to do next. Let's do the Manara art or <laughs> can't talk. Let's do the Manara. Oh my God. Let's do the Manara Oracle. Jeez Louise. My tongue is all tied up today. All right. I'm trying to not let this reading be like an hour long. So cancer. What else we got for cancer? Uh, okay. There's booty on here. So I'm going to have to cover it. Creating a new self. Look at that. Number 25. So let me see if I can hide the booty with the, with the bunny. Does that work? Yes, it does. Okay. So you were in the midst of... A huge metamorphosis, Cancer. You're upgrading. You're focusing on your outer appearance. Some of you are are um, are having a glow up. Can I just say that, Cancer? Ooh, your glow up looks good, girl or boy. Look at you. Stop. You all shiny and glowy up and stuff. Look at you. That energy is badass, Cancer. Okay, good. Good for you. But the glow up is just not on the outside. The glow up starts in the inside, right? So you're working on yourself. You got the glow up in the inside. It's going to show on the outside. It's going to radiate to the outside. So I feel like you are learning to love yourself, Cancer. And you should love yourself because you are adorable. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have purity of purpose. Wow, look at that. Okay. So what number is this? Number 25, add it up, and it's number seven. So you're also entering a lucky period in your love life, okay? Um, whatever you reflect out in the world. Let me remember, if you're in here, you got to be quiet, buddy. <clears throat> so whatever you're reflecting out to the universe is being reflected back to you as well, Cancer. Remember that. So only um, show the world what you want to be seen back to towards yourself okay so this there's no nudity on this one i don't have to hide anything 31 purity of purpose hold on one second okay sorry about that cancer okay so number 31 if you add it up it's four 
So you're being guided by your angels to find your soul purpose, okay? Some of you might think you already know what your soul purpose is. And here's the tricky thing. Um, we all have different soul purposes at different times in our life. There's not one huge soul purpose. Um, there's a main soul purpose, but there's lots of little soul purposes that, um, you know, we will do throughout our whole entire life. Um, because if you just had one soul purpose, you would just get bored really quickly, right? And you do your soul purpose and you'd be like, oh, well, I'm done. I'm ready to just transition <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? But there's another big soul purpose, which is coming up. And it has to do with this love connection. So um, what, are you, what are you trying to achieve right now in regards to your love life, Cancer? Think about that. Um, because when you decide on what you want, your precision is like Cupid's arrow. Like you just, once you shoot your shot, there's no going back. Your, your aim is perfect. So once you decide, oh, I want that person, then boom, like, you know what you want when you want it, right? So I feel like, you know, once you decide what it is that you want in regards to your love life and you, you pull that arrow back and let that arrow go, it's going to hit the mark. Does that make sense? All right. And also the, the angels, number four is an angel number of angelic guidance. So the angels are saying, whatever you want, Cancer, they're going to help you to achieve it. Okay. But you have to know what it is that you want first. Okay. So move along. Let's see what else do we have next? Let's do this. This is, um, it's just called the love deck and it'll let you know if you have any shadows, which need to be, <laughs> but again, this is where I can, <laughs> I feel like we can we have a tendency to be here all night doing shadows and shadow work. So <laughs> let's get two cards for cancer spirit Two. I said two, not 15. Come on in, honey. Are you done? I am done. Okay. But um, Hold on, let me pause this. Whew, Cancer, they got your girl working today. Okay, so I pulled one card um, when we were off camera because I already had it in my hand when my <laughs> daughter came in here. Um, so it's disillusionment. It's number 69, okay? Um, let me get one more card before we start going into this. Cancer, Let's see, villain, problem. Wow, okay, <laughs> So we do have a little bit of shadows. So let's talk about these. So, and remember, I'm not doing this to alienate you guys or to make cancer feel bad. All of these readings I do um, out of love so that we can all move forward, right? We're all one. We're all connected. So we're all collectively dealing with this. It's not just you, cancer. I'm not pointing fingers at cancer and going, oh, you're doing this. This is all done with love to help you. And to help us, okay? So we have disillusionment, number 69. And it's it, it literally says problem down here. I don't know if you can see that right there. So disillusionment is um, a tendency to look at people like literally. There's a feminine here. She's looking at this guy like, ooh, he's a knight in shining armor. And really, he's just a normal man, right? <clears throat> so it's a tendency to look at people and put them on a pedestal or to see them for something that they're not. We're all human beings. None of us are perfect. So don't look at people, Cancer, with this like eye of like rose colored glasses. What are you, where are you living in illusion when it comes to your love life? Are you looking at someone and going, oh, you know, this person is this perfect God or goddess. And yes, we are all perfect, right? But we're also human. So we have flaws and we have a tendency to screw up and hurt people and whether it's intentional or not we all do it right so stop looking at someone and thinking oh they're this or they're that when you have to realize we're all just humans nobody's perfect okay nobody is a knight in shining armor nobody is a perfect goddess right like we're all doing the best that we can so try to remember to stay out of the illusion and to see things for what they really are, okay? You don't want to sit there and look at someone and go, oh, they're this perfect person. And really, like, they're mean or they're not kind or you're, you know, are you seeing someone for, see them, see people for who they are. See them for 
what they are, right? Let their actions speak for who they are, right? <clears throat> because we can discern a lot from someone's actions. How are they acting? Is, is it in alignment with, with who they really are? Or are they acting, you know, are they pretending to be one thing and they're really un not, you know? <clears throat> Let their actions speak louder than the words coming out of their mouth, basically, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so the second card is 48. It's a villain. It's also a problem card, right? So it's a tendency to either be a villain in someone's story <laughs> or to see someone as a villain in your story. Now, however it pertains to you, Cancer, I don't know. Um, you know, so are you the one that's seen? Are you the one in illusion or is someone seeing you as an illusion, right? It, it goes either way. So this villain card. Now, are you are you the villain in someone's story? Hold on. It's okay. So are you the villain in someone's story? Are you doing villain type behavior? So someone is pointing at cancer and going, oh, this cancer did so and so and so and so. He tied me to the railroad tracks and he tried to run me over with the train. <laughs> or cancer, are you villainizing someone else? Okay, who's who's the cat woman in your story? Oh, this cat woman, she came, she tried to seduce me and she really broke my heart. Okay, either way, th this energy is, it's not a good energy to be in cancer. Whether you're the villain or you're playing the villain, stop. Stop that behavior because it's just drawing you away from love. And we want to go towards love, right? Okay, there it is. We're done with that. So if you're being the villain in some, everyone is the villain in someone's story. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you're purposely trying to be a villain because you think it's, I don't know, serving you in some way, it's not. I'm just going to, I'm just going to come right out and say that it's not. So there's that. All right. So we're going to pull the who, well, well, yeah, I was going to say we're. I was going to say we'll do a different deck, but this is going to give you some character traits of your person, um, the person on your mind. So close your eyes, Cancer. Focus really hard. Now, hopefully this resonates with most of you. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but it's going to pull on the highest collective energy um, of Cancer, you know, the person. So basically the highest energy of the Cancers that are watching me it's going to pull on um, the character traits that resonate most with the highest energy of cancers that watch me. Does that make sense? Okay. So close your eyes and focus for me, Cancer. And I'm going to give you some character traits of your person. So for example, if 15 cancers are watching me right now and, you know, out of all 15 of you, if, you know, 10 of you have your person that you're thinking of has dark hair you know, and seven of the you know, the people that watch me have, is that right math? I don't know, probably not. So if, and if seven of the people that watch me have, you know, blonde hair, it's going to pick on the one with the highest, someone with dark hair, right? Because most of you have, your person has dark hair, right? So that's how it works. That's how energy works. If you don't believe me, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just telling you. All right. So focus, close your eyes. Let's do cancer, your person. That's okay, buddy. Mm -hmm. Can you get out shut the door, please? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So we have earth sign and we have fair complexion. So your person is very light skinned. They have very light skin, right? Fair complexion would mean someone who's very pale skinned or, you know, they have very, very light skin. And then we have earth sign. So they don't have to be an earth sign completely be an earth sign but they have earth in their chart all right one second oh my god this whole entire read is just gonna be called big interruption <laughs> i'm just kidding not really okay so we're done with that deck um let's see okay which deck are we gonna use now spirit let's try the whispers of love we're gonna end this reading with the message from your person so <clears throat> all right where are we? Da, 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 da. So most of you are dealing with someone who's very fair skinned and they have earth in their chart. So 
They're probably an earth sign, but if your person's not an earth sign or has fair skin, don't freak out. Um, it just means that, you know, most of the cancers that watch me, their person has light skin and is an earth sign. So, or has earth sign. All right, let's get two of these cards and then we're going to do the tarot of the heart, psychic tarot of the heart. Whoa. Okay. So we have a lot of cards. I'm not going to take all of them. So we're going to go again. We're going to get two cards from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, and then we're going to end with two messages from your person. There's your first card. We have Take a Chance on Love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there, Cancer. I think I said this in one of your past readings um, about letting people in, taking that chance on love, not to, to be stuck in fear. <clears throat> um, I know it's easier said than done. Believe me. <laughs> Um, we all struggle, right, with that sometimes. Um, but Spirit is saying it's it's okay to take that chance, right? Allow yourself to flow into the beautiful emotions and the watery bliss of love. You're a cancer sign. You're comfortable in the water and in the emotions, okay? Remember that. Remember who you are at your at the depths of your soul. You are meant for the emotions. You're a water sign, all right? It's number 23, um, add it up and it's the number five. So you do have changes coming up in this connection with whoever it is that you're thinking about, right? There's changes on the horizon, you know, positive changes. Um, and look, if you look, it's a couple and they're in a boat. They're not worried about anything around them. They're just allowing the water to take them where they're meant to go, right? Which is right into this beautiful energy of the 5D. Look at that. It's the whole entire universe right here. Look at that. And there's a face, which represents the divine. The divine is watching this union. And there's all the universe. It's the galaxy. It's a beautiful energy. Okay. So this is your next card, physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. Look at that. So your person is longing to feel you touch them, Cancer. It's true. If you doubt it, then go touch them right now. <laughs> uh, they want to touch you, Cancer. They want you to touch them and they want to touch you. Okay? There is that devil card again. They're like, Cancer, I want to touch you so bad. It's, oh God, it's 47. Add it up, it's 11. That's my twin flame number. It's 11. You can't make it up. Cancer, you're probably dealing with a twin flame connection. And even though whether your person is in physical contact with you or not, it doesn't matter. Um, you guys can energetically touch each other on the astral plane. You guys make love in your dreams. So any of the, the, the stupid stuff that like connects people in fucking oh god don't flag me youtube 2d or 3d relationships does not apply to this connection you guys are always in touch you're always touching each other um you're, you're already married in in the astral plane um you're always connected you're always touching anyways like in the ethers okay there it is <clears throat> I didn't know if this was going to be a twin flame reading or not, but that's the twin flame number, 11. So there it is. There's your confirmation, Cancer. If you wanted to know if your person was your, your twin flame, there, yes. I would say yes. Yes, 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 yes. I feel so good. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. <laughs> We're going to get, sorry, I had, to, I had to throw some pinky doll in there and get trashy with it. All right, let's go ahead. Um. By the way, that song is my new obsession. It's crazy. I don't, people don't get me. They're like, are you spiritual? Are you gangster? Are you trashy? I'm all of those, bitch. <laughs> I am a spiritual trash bag. I'm a spiritual gangster. I'm a guru. I'm all of those. Okay. I'm a spiritual teacher. I'm a guru. I'm a counselor. I'm a trashy hooker, whatever. Like, <laughs> oh my God. All right. <clears throat> I'm all of those. I, you cannot label me because I am unlabelable. Okay. If you think I'm that, I'm that. Honest to God. Like, 
I cannot be labeled. Don't try to label me because it's not going to work. <clears throat> All right. Two more cards for cancer. <clears throat> where, where are we cancer? What is going on? Okay. Two more cards for cancer. And then we're going to end with the message from your person. I don't want this reading to be like 50 million years long. So <clears throat> to recap, your person is obsessed with you. Okay, 19, we have Shine. I think this is a Major Arcana card. I got to look it up because I don't know. I know it's a Major Arcana card. And I just, I have to look up which one it is. It's number 19. I actually don't know what that is. But shine in your inner light, Cancer. Shine in your heart light and just continuing to be the beautiful, energetic being that you are is drawing your twin flame right into you. Continue to do the work. Continue to shine your light. Continue to focus on you. What is the final message for cancer, please? And work on your root chakra. Look at that. I kept saying, let the fear of being loved go. There it is again, cancer. Let the fear of, of being loved go. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. Let the fear of being loved go, cancer. It is okay, for you to allow yourself to be loved. Love yourself and allow yourself to be loved. You are lovable. You are lovable. You are lovable. I'm going to say it one more time. You are lovable. This is the base chakra. It's the root chakra. It's the chakra of fear. So ground yourself into Mother Earth. Give Mother Earth that fear that you are not able to love someone or someone is able to love you. And let it go because this card is number one. It's a card of a new beginning in love, but you cannot self-sabotage this or you're going to regret it. You're going to, this twin flame connection is going according to plan, but you also have to do the work too. Okay. So we have number 19. <clears throat> so work on the root chakra. We're going to look and see what this, what um, major arcana this is. It's the sun. Oh my God. It's the sun card. It's the happiest card in the deck. It's Leo energy as well. Look at this. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Stop. Stop it right now. Cancer. Okay. So we have the happiest card in the deck. It's the sun card. It's the Leo card. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Okay. Um, so the sun card, it represents Leo energy. <clears throat> it also represents um, happiness. It represents all of your dreams coming true. So please, please allow yourself to be loved, my beautiful Cancer. All right. So we're going to end with the message from your person. And then we're going to be done. We are going to be done. We're done. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please, please like, subscribe. It's free. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video from your girl, Chakra Bunny. I love you so much, Cancer. I think I'm going to do Libra's um, bonus reading next, probably tomorrow. And then I'll do Pisces. Thank you guys for watching me, for loving me. I love you right back. I promise. I'm going to continue to love y'all. And give you the bonus content if you continue to give me the views, okay? Um, I hope this helps. What does Cancer's person want them to know? What is the secrets in Cancer's person's heart that they haven't been able to tell them yet? Oh my God. Tell me I'm lying about this being a twin flame connection. It says, I can feel you. I can feel you. I can feel you. I told you, Cancer. This is a twin flame connection. Look, and I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those like <clears throat> readers that's going to lie to you or fucking fluff shit up your ass. Like, I'm not going to do that. Okay. If it's not a twin flame connection, I'm not going to say it is. Look, this, there is two cards that came out with twin flame connection. It was number 11, which is a twin flame number. If you don't believe me, Google it, look it up. Okay. This is a twin flame card. It says, I can feel you. Tell me one connection where you've been able to feel someone that's not a twin flame connection. Exactly. This feminine is sending him energy because she can feel him and she's sending him love whether or not he's receiving it or not because he's receiving it. 
even if he's not looking at her. Whatever it looks like in the 3D, it doesn't matter. You guys are connected. Boom. All right. And then it says, I remember you. Look, it's 4444 on my phone. As I gave you this reading, I'm getting fucking emotional. It says, I remember you. Now, this might have some significance for both of you. Maybe your person has said this to you before. Maybe you heard it somewhere. I remember you. They remember you. Their soul remembers you. Do you remember them? That's the question, right? Do they remember you? Do you remember them? Do you remember each other? They remember you, Cancer. That's why they feel this deep connection to you. And your person is saying, I, I remember you. This was a message from your person, right? So your person is saying, I remember you. Do you remember me? And they're saying they can feel you. Okay. I love you, Cancer, so fiercely. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you want to book a reading with me and get some more questions about this connection, then please reach out to me. Um, <clears throat> all my information is in the description box below. You can find my Instagram, my TikTok, my Etsy shop there, my son's channel. Please subscribe to him. He's such a little cute little shit. Um, and uh, also, if you click on the Goldie appointment fix, that is the link that says you'll click on it. It'll say book now. You hit that. You schedule when you want your reading to be, and then you don't even have to pay right away. I will send you an invoice. And then once you pay that invoice from PayPal um, or Cash App, whatever you prefer, um, that I'll do your reading. I love you so much, Cancer. Bye.